Diane from Tattered Edges Design once again. And as you can see, we're back to Christmas stuff today. I'm still in a kind of journal layoff and, you know, what should I do? I don't know. So I just thought, why not? I'll make a few Christmas cards. I, I generally buy cards to give out on Christmas because I don't want to make 25 cards. But I do make them here and there to give to more, you know, people that are closer. So anyway, I didn't do that yet this year, so here we're doing that this year. And these images, if I can give a plug, are actually on my Etsy shop as digitals. They're old, old cards. These two are old postcards. And as you can see, like this one, I enlarged quite a bit. This one, just a little bit. So that's about a normal postcard size. So I blew this up because I think I just want to take the girl image there. Uh, these two were just a tad a small, I think 90% I printed them. And they are on a, not heavy, heavy paper, but better than just, you know, I gotta write somebody a, a business letter, 20 pound paper, I think it's 28 pound. And in case you're new to printing out and digital and all that, the better quality paper will give you better images, better colors, more true to what the image should look like. So, just in case you don't know that. So anyway, I did a little prep, so, you know, once again, we don't have to look at Diane digging through papers and stuff. I'll probably do that anyway, but, and then once again, too, like the Halloween cards, I just have white cardstock that I cut in half and then fold it in half. And why do I keep doing it that way? Because that's the size of envelopes I have. You know, you can buy blank envelopes and that's what size I have. So that's why I keep doing that, uh, you know. If you want to join along, make cards any size you want. So anyway, this one, I kind of thought, yeah, I mean, I knew this was going to be a little big, but I'm not sure if I want the bottom part on there or not, because it's, it's fine, it's okay, but it's a little light. It doesn't really stand out too much, so I kind of thought maybe I'd eliminate that. And you know, if you want to be... Well, if you want to be real lazy, just go to the dollar store and buy Christmas cards. But if you want to be semi-lazy, you could just print these and glue them to a card and be done, because they're pretty. <laughs> but, of course, Diane's not going to do that. So I'm going to cut this out to some extent. I'm not sure what extent. Yeah, if you're kind of I think this is a cool idea to have digitals. I, I do have, like I said, once again, I'll plug my own shop. I have quite a lot of Christmas cards, postcards and cards available. And actually, I've got quite a few on in my uh, drafts and expired file too, because last year I put a bunch up and not that many sold. So this year I was being a little more conservative, however you want to say that, because listings aren't free. They do add up after a while. But anyway, if for some reason these took off, I could put more in. But if you're interested and you never thought of that before, there are a lot of digital Christmas images on Etsy. And for the most part, you know, it varies, but for the most part, they're very reasonably priced. I mean, for, you know, buck and a half, two, three bucks, you get a really pretty image. I mean, a card costs two, three, four, depending on where you buy it, bucks anyway. And then you can reuse the image a million times, usually. It depends on the shop's policies, but you can reuse the image a million times. You can shrink it, you can enlarge it, you know. You could make that black and white if you wanted for some weird reason. So, you know. Actually, I threw away that sentiment. Maybe I should hang on to that just in case. But yeah, it's it's kind of cool, you know, in this day and age to be able to do all that stuff. Just <laughs> thinking, you know, this blends with the white so well. Do I even want a background paper? Oh no, more decisions. 
And these are all scrapbook papers in case I didn't say that or you don't know that. Um. Well, that's kind of pretty. It matches nice. What if we just maybe Oh, I don't know. Well, that's okay. That's a starting point. You got to start somewhere, right? As you can tell, I've had this paper for quite a while and it's getting smaller and smaller. Lined it up with this. Would that look nice? Or like then cut it too short and we really can't do that. Yeah, I don't think I want it too lined up anyway. It's going to be too. Too lined up. Well, that's kind of cool. And then maybe we could put some sort of doodads over there. I've got sequins and stuff here. And of course, I can't. I better not need a star sequin. I couldn't find them. I and I end up using those quite a bit. Some kind of ticked. I can't find. It. I mean, it's in the box somewhere, but I can't find it. And you know how you look for, you know, what seems like ten minutes. And it's like forget it. I couldn't find it. I give up. Well, is it time for the weather report? It's very cool here, like, let me look at my thermometer. Um, 69.70 and damp and a cool breeze and it rained yesterday and there's a chance of rain today. Yeah, we were so dry and now we're in a big wet pattern, so make up your mind. And I don't know what the brand of this cardstock is. I don't know. I did buy it on Amazon. I think the edge is straighter. And I can always grab paint in that too, or stamps, although, as in rubber stamps, I don't know that I want to do that. One, I don't have a lot of Christmas rubber stamps. Too. I don't know that these images kind of go with that effect. So, you know, you could just run a ribbon or something about them and be done with that. It's very pretty. It can stand on its own. I don't know. This one of these. Although that's not white white, it's cream. So I don't know if that would go. A point city by the holly could look pretty. Let's see. We don't want a huge, huge one. Maybe a smaller one, and that way it's not going to compete with the birds. Because if you look, they're they're not too large. interesting how um as you know everything you name it but Christmas cards have evolved the sizes the styles all that oh yeah we're fussy cutting and this is true fussy it's not faux fussy even Hmm. Boring. Well, I don't know. What can I talk about? You already gave the weather report. I'm going to talk about my brother in Buffalo. That's another odd couple, original Odd Couple movie reference. Felix is talking about he already used up all his conversation. I 
I'd say those are pretty easy to cut because they're so pointy, for lack of a better word. Curves are harder to go around, I think. All right, so I asked somewhere along the line in one of my videos, if you send Christmas cards, do you make Christmas cards? I think I'm one of the very few people I know that do. <laughs> I have one friend that does. I think that's it. Okay, we're almost there. Hang in there. Almost. Yay. And then wouldn't that be funny if I went, oh, I don't like it. I like it, but where are we going to put it? That's okay. So, you know, for people to say they can't draw, and look at how simple these trees are. And I guess those are supposed to be like tree tops. They're just lines. You know, if you know how to write, you can do that. All right, that's, I like that. Okay. Trim. I did bring up my Christmas tree. Where did it go, though? Sorry. Okay, that's another, you know. We do have it labeled somewhere. Xmas ribbon. That's pretty good for me, huh? Um, all right. In all the, I know I'm not going to get an answer file. This is old trim a relative gave me one she wasn't using. And it's really cool. Can you see it? There's sequins in there. But how in the world? I have used it once or twice with the globs of glue. What are you supposed to do with this? I mean, you're supposed to sew it. Because you've cut it. It just all it falls apart. Ooh, that's kind of cool, though. <laughs> I don't want to go and have it all fall apart and have everybody laugh at me. She's such a dork. I'm going to watch that dorky Diane again. I need a lift today. Oh, that's kind of nice. That's too red, I think. And I said it before, then I'll say it again. I don't like to make bulky cards because I don't want to goof around with the mail. I just want to put them in an envelope and send them off on their way. Which, yeah, I don't know. This year, am I going to have to send cards early? It seems like mail sometimes is fine and then sometimes like I just ordered something from a Etsy seller in Ohio and this is the 11th. And on the 6th, according to the tracking number, it's still in Ohio that, I forget when I actually ordered it. Well, that's pretty. But, yeah, I checked that yesterday. So four days later, they don't know where it is. There's no update or anything. It's been sitting for four days. I don't know. Do we want multiple trims? Is that too, that's probably too much. Well, I think I'm just going to go with this one. And then, yeah, if I can, oh, wait a minute. I can criticize the post office, which I probably shouldn't do. That's why my stuff is so slow, because I keep criticizing them, right? No, I don't want to. I sent out Valentine cards this year. And that was even before all the craziness of this year happened. I sent one to somebody that literally is, I can drive to their house in about 15 minutes. And it took two weeks for them to get their Valentine card. So apparently it sat somewhere. I don't know what that was all about. It kind of felt like a crumb. It, it, so they got it late. 
Oh well. The Pony Express did it better than that, didn't they? And actually, I do have a right to criticize. My great-grandfather was a rural mailman back in the day with a, a, you know, a horse and the whole bit. And I bet he did not take two weeks to deliver a Valentine card. Okay. All right, that's very pretty. I think I'll go ahead and glue that down and then maybe a word or sequence or something in this corner here. In case by now anyone's wondering, what's this? You can see it, yeah. This paper thing I'm gluing on. This was a, it's actually a Robin Hood book. See, it says it right there. Robin Hood meets Georgia Green. Um, years ago, I was bef I think it was before I was even into the all this paper stuff. But anyway, since then, when we're all using old book pages and that for these crafts, these papers are so I should show you this so, so pulpy and brittle. You really you can't do anything with them. Even reinforcing, it, it's I don't trust it. So occasionally I do use it for like a um, background text. If I'm going to glue down just a small segment, that's fine. But like I said, it's not, there's not a whole lot, I feel. Yeah, maybe correct me if I'm wrong, I can do with it. See, it just sort of, it practically, you just put your finger right through it. So anyway, I'm using it here and there are these pages to glue on so I don't get glue all over my counter. I used to just actually glue all over my counter because this is just a you know home improvement store you can go in and buy a countertop. It comes right up. If you, I mean it's a little elbow grease there but the glue I use it washes right up. I used to just do that but then I saw somebody I don't know it might have been Gail Augustinelli using pages to glue on to, you know, so she didn't get schmutz all over. And it's like, oh, well, if I did that, I could use up these dumb pages and then I don't have to wash my counter as much. So that's how that came about. Isn't that exciting? Should we tell more about Diane's gluing system? All right. So what do we want here? Now, because we don't have a sentiment anymore. Or do we just save the sentiment for inside? I don't want big. Well, let me just grab a couple sequins and put them on, see what it looks like. Oh, this even has little things in there. I think this was from, I mentioned, I had a relative a few years ago clean out some older craft stuff and gave it to me, a lot of those trims. And these were in there too, I believe. Well, let's let's hear some votes here. What, what do you guys think? That's nice. Okay, I'm going to do that. And then hopefully I can trim that paper. Oh, I heard one fall. Do you see it anywhere? I don't see it. Oh well, it'll turn up. Um, trim the, oh here it is. Trim the edges and maybe ink and see if we think it needs more anything. I hear kids outside. Yeah, yesterday, it's not a holiday or anything, and I had my neighbor boy playing basketball at like 9.15 in the morning. It's like, oh, remote recess, huh? <laughs> Maybe that was his 
e-learning gym class. All right. Um, I think, however, though, I'm not going to immediately trim because these are too wet. I don't want to be turning and goofing, so I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And let's move on to something else. All right. Um, let's see, which one? Just grab. Now this one, paper's going to fall. All right, it's me again. Sorry about that interruption. One of my dogs likes to announce when my husband comes home because, you know, the car pulling in the driveway isn't enough of an announcement. But anyway, so while th all that was going on, I went ahead and did a little work on my own. Um, I trimmed this. I don't think I'm going to ink it because I like the way this kind of integrates and sort of looks like snow. I think I'm just gonna leave that alone. And I kind of think, you know, it's fine. It's fine, it's good, I like it, but it's, you know, eh. I think I'm gonna sew, machine sew. And the glue is too too wet, I'm not, so I can't do it right yet. So that's that one. Um, I started, to, I don't know how far I'm gonna back that up with my dog barking, but I started talking about this image. And so I went ahead and did a little prep stuff here. I put down some scrapbook paper. I really liked the stripey stuff with this, but I don't know if you can see, you can sort of just barely see the red lines through it. So I didn't want to put it totally under and see that. And then this stuff, the blue, I really liked that, but where'd it go? All I had left of that was like, you know, that's not going to fit. So we kind of pieced those together. And then I thought... I don't know, it's just as cute as this is. It's a little simple and whatnot. And yeah, I could use star sequins in the sky, so I'm gonna look for those. So I grabbed just a snippet of Christmas fabric, and I think I'm gonna sew that across and take it from there. But the same thing, this glue is wet, so I can't sew it yet. And then I did fussy cut the girl off that postcard, and that's as far as we got with her. So I thought maybe I'd grab some papers for her and see how far we get with her before there's another barking explosion. Yeah, I'm sorry about all the noise on some of these videos. Like I said, it's just, it's not bad. It seems like I always have lawn mowers or dogs or something, but I guess that's just the way it is. Well, I kind of like this bingo. Let's cut one out and see. Well, that's not bad either, is it? No, that's too busy. It is bad. All right, I'm going to cut out one of these. like that. Actually, does she fit this way? Is that even something? Something. I don't know what. Well, that's something, too. Not, certainly not done. What about sheet music behind them? Her. Them, I meant it's those things. It's not bad. It doesn't, obviously I need a bigger piece. I do have more than this, but, well, maybe I don't want more than that. All right, I kind of like that. That's kind of fun. Let me get these out of the way. They're kind of in my way. And even if I wanted to sew, I know I've got brown thread in my machine and I don't want brown thread. Wow, look at that. gonna try to leave this tattered ed tattered edge <laughs> tattered edges design here um, I like it but sometimes 
they kind of break off when you're gluing and stuff anyway, so we'll see. Make sure, yeah, if you're new to all this, before you glue something down, make sure your card is, you know, not upside down or something. I have done that. Alright, do we want to glue these down right away? I think we want to ink the edges of the bingo card. This is a cute idea somebody had. Down there it says, the Christmas Company, North Pole, Alaska. We definitely need, I did pull some presents paper because she's carrying gifts. And these were sort of, this is lightweight cheap paper. I pulled this one because of the colors. It actually matches, I admit it, I've got a lot of paper, but it seems like almost always you can find something to match. It's kind of fun. Okay, if you picked up on the fact, I guess when I'm fussy cutting, I stop talking. There's some some things you can't do, you know, the old chew gum and, what is it, chew gum and walk at the same time? I forget. I notice when I'm eating and writing, I have to <laughs> stop, stop one or the other. I can't do both at the same time. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. It matches her hat there and everything. I know, I don't know if I'm going to do all four of these cards on, on camera. I don't know. Maybe it's up to my dog, huh? That's about what it's like in this house. I'll let my dog decide what we're doing. Put another present over here. We have space, but which one? Can you invent another one, please, in a hurry? Well, I don't I think I'm really going to like this stripe one, but I'm going to try it. Oops. Glue stick falling over again, because they're not weighted in the bottom. But the glue stick people aren't listening to me. It's quiet. She must be fussy cutting. Actually, it's quiet outside. How'd that happen? Well, this morning it was so funny. I hear. <laughs> I live not real close, but there's a train yard not too far away from me. So sometimes you hear equipment, trains, whatever they are doing over there. And I was kind of in the back of the house, and I heard like what I thought was train stuff, but like it's getting louder. And, oh, that's all right, and louder, and it's like what? <laughs> so I look out the front window. This where the street is. It was almost huge, and I mean huge, things that tear up um, pavement, you know, for road repair. Going down our street, you know, at about two miles an hour, with a big dump truck following it. I, I live on a, you know, residential side street type thing. And I don't think I've ever seen that before. 
But apparently, I'm assuming, they didn't want to go down more of the main drag because they were going so slow, but that was kind of funny. There's a train going down my street. Now, do we want the present kind of under her a little bit? I was not, I got glue fingers and everything's sticking. Yeah, I'm going to glue that down just in case. Well, all right, no, I like it over, over her. Okay. I guess we don't glue and talk at the same time either, huh? Well, there's only so much you can say about gluing a piece of paper, right? She had to stop doing videos because she explained everything there is to explain about making cards. Ugh, I need a paper towel. <laughs> And maybe some people are going, why are you, why do you glue like that? What are you doing? I, as I've mentioned before, I, I used to make greeting cards quite a bit. That was, well, like no cards and green. That was sort of my main deal there for a long time. And it, it came to my attention. The ones I, you know, first started making, you know, from, say, maybe it was like five years down the road or something. It, some of the edges were coming up. Some of the stuff was coming unglued over time. And so I kind of surmised if I glue really glue the edges and then the middle can be glue stick it seems to hold better so that's just that's just my experience and maybe better or not better but maybe different glues grab better or something but I like the Aileen's it's you know easy to come by when my dogs are playing outside now it's easy to come by. It's not expensive, and I can't take the um, some glues that are real gluey smelling. That kind of bothers me a little bit. I can't. I can't really take that. So that's why. That's why she does it this way. All right. I'm gonna glue down this. Last present, and then maybe take a break. Oh, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 12, 34 p.m. Um, as long as my dogs are being a little loud and it's kind of lunchtime. Let this stuff dry so I can I'll sew off camera. But damn, that's coming along. I like that. I don't think it's done. Maybe she needs stitching around too. I don't know. I'll think about that and I'm gonna be off camera for a little bit here. Okay, I have returned. And I don't even remember where I left off. I don't know. It's been a busy day. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I was going to sew, so I did sew around that one, and I sewed, whoops, sewed the fabric down on that, and I sewed kind of a wonky stitch around this one, intentionally wonky. So we'll just pick it up from here. I think, okay group, now to me this there's something wrong with this composition. What do you think it is? To me it's this corner. There's like all this stuff going on here. And there's nothing up here. So I thought maybe a bow that was my first thought. Mm, I don't know about that. It looks, um, how would I describe that? Like it's, it's, it's not connected. It's, <laughs> well, all right, Diane, you're so smart. What are you going to do then? I don't know, because you know, I don't think you're gonna a present floating up in negative space, do you? 
Well, to get off that a bit, I did think, I've got these bigger uh, sequins here. Would it be cool, or I could also use a snowflake, to put a couple down like they're bingo markers. Would that be cool? Like someone, someone was playing bingo. They got a, they got a bingo going here. Let me punch a couple white snowflakes, see if I like that better. But that's not bad. Now oh, they're stuck to me. I just washed dishes. My hands are just a tad damp. Where did my paper go here? Yeah, I'm asking you like you know where my paper is. It's to your left, Diane. Is that better than a sequin? Oh, I don't know. These are stuck together. I'm sure we all have crafting sessions like that. You know, if it if it can get stuck, if you can drop it, if you know, then it's that's what's going to happen. Well, I think that's more goes with it more but they don't stand out so yeah so what okay I don't like those they're, they're, it's sort of like this real focal point behind her back which I don't like that so all right we're, I'm gonna glue on these because it's not going to work and I can't pick them up. Let me get some glue here. Which side? <laughs> I guess it's pretty much the same. That, in case you're going, what do you mean which side? That was a uh, cut off from something I had printed. And just to prove I'm not a complete lunatic, it's, see there is a printed image right there. This side is not as white as the back. That's what she's talking about. Maybe we want more than three? I don't know. I wonder how many times I've said I don't know so far in my video career. I don't know. All right. Alright, I think we'll leave well enough alone there. That's fine. And I'm just not going to tinker. But that doesn't solve the corner dilemma. I kind of thought of a word because, you know, we cut off her sentiment. But you got Mary there, so that's not going to work. What about a big, a big snowflake? As in sequin snowflake. Oh, this one's not open. I've got one that's already open, but I didn't pull it out. I thought it was this one. Well, I don't think I want a color, but let's see. Silver. Well, actually, that looks better than I thought it would. Well, what about... All right, I'll open this, even though... Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't do that, but... I'm going to make you wait around while I look for the other package. All right, if we had two of those together. I'm not thrilled. It's okay, it's okay though. It kind of, you know, two things here, two things there. I, I can kind of live with it. I don't have a red one, do I? No. Well, what if we had those in a bottle? No, I still think it, there's something about the bow over here that it starts making it look like this is a picture and then this is a picture and I don't obviously want that.
All right, that's my neighbor's dog. That's not mine. I'm not responsible for them. Um, what about a couple small red sequins by the Silver Snowflake sequin? Come here, red. Yeah, actually, that's better. What if we grab another one if we can? That's a red one. And maybe drop it somewhere to kind of pull. I don't know what that was. It's a car outside, I think, gunning its engine. Um, I kind of like it, but is it like... Why is there a sequel? No, see, now that's my dog whining because the dog next door is playing with his people and he wants to go play. See, I can't win. <laughs> no, Diane, you can't. All right, that's not bad. I'm just going to do that. This is actually pretty close to being done, if not done then. Let's see. And then I do have one more card if you want to hang around and watch that. All right, I think that's done. Okay, you dry. And then this one. Oh, that's right. This one wasn't done. Um, I, this is just scrap of paper. I thought maybe if I cut it in half, I could do something like this. Or up here. Maybe over here. Yeah, I like that. And yes, I found my star sequins. They were in the box. They just were not really where they were supposed to be in the box. And I got kind of shoved under other stuff. So. But they were there. This is not Christmas paper at all, this, but the blue matched. So it is now. All right. I know that looks kind of dorky, but that's okay. So let's see now where the stars go. Now that I brag that I found them. Here they are. Um, <laughs> blue or blue and or silver. Well. Red might look okay too. I don't know, the blue in these sequins is it's awfully dark. Well, gosh, do we want them actually? I had no intention of really lining them up like that, but do we want that? Nah, that's. All right, that's fine. <laughs> now I gotta get these back in. Oh, nuts. You know what? You just go there for now. I'm not gonna make my people watch all this. I'll put those away later. Is that what we had? Yeah, that's what we had. Okay. Yeah, so since I've been off camera, the uh, locusts have come back out. 
And I don't know why. It's not that warm. It's not that sunny. But they're back. Now I'll get, you know, the dorky Diane and her locusts. That's the reputation I'm going to get on YouTube. Oh, that's on the card. Okay. Yeah, I will say in my shop, the digital images, there were a few things my husband touched up for me, but generally speaking, this is a card. That's the way it was. Like, this is kind of yellowed. I mean, it looks vintage. That's the way it is. If you want something pristine, you're going to have to look elsewhere. All right. Well, do we like that? Does this need something? I think it needs something. A trim by that fabric. Trim box back again. Well, what about? Uh, I don't have. Yeah, you know, most of these journal people have boxes and drawers and bins of lace. I have very little lace. What about just one of these kind of things? would kind of emulate that. Now, I hate to cut this and then go, I don't like it, but I guess I have to. Let's see which is right. I guess this one. bad, which I know I say that all the time. I should have changed my shop name should be, it's not bad. I think it's not enough color. <laughs> okay, I could tell, about tell you what time it is. Do you hear that truck? I don't know what you call that, downshifting or whatever he's doing because of the stoplight. That guy goes by almost every day about three o'clock and yeah it's 2 58 p.m well every weekday anyway um well, what about this yeah that's all my videos are aren't they i just explain no i don't like this glitter I, it's just saying explaining what all the noise is in her neighborhood well, what about just boring red? Oh, that one's not open yet. Just a minute. Or a bow. What about just a bow? Yeah. I'll try it. I don't know. I'm not overly enthused. Well, it's okay, but I think between this and these, it kind of looks like it's off. That's better. Well, okay, I'll go with that. I'll put it off like that. All right, this bow actually wasn't too bad on the first try there. I think, though, I'm gonna do that to the ends as opposed to just an angle and sometimes when it's really narrow it is kind of hard to make it even but we'll try that's okay and I think I do want this one a little longer than the other tail Duh. I always do that. See that? You can either get it that way or this way. Depending on, well, either the way you fold it or the way you cut it. I thought I had it the right way. Let me think. I'm going to go this way. There, there's your lesson in how to notch ribbon ends. Think about it for a minute. 
Yeah, that's that's cute. Okay. It's kind of funny how the things work out too, or at least I don't generally pre-plan this stuff out. Now this one, just looking at that image without you know anything by it, I never would have expected it to have this much red on it. But it does. All right, I may trim that shorter, but it's got glue on it, so I'm not going to do it right now. And I'm going to let all this stuff dry. So you come over here. And then the last one is this image. Now this isn't a super old, like these postcard images are probably from the 20s. This is yeah, what do you think? 50s, 60s due to the shape? Maybe the 60s? But anywho, um, it's obviously too long for my, for my cards. So I was kind of thinking more like cutting this and using components or just tearing. What do you think? Want to come up or this way? So I like this tree, but that puts the deer more in the middle. I guess we should go more this way. And so I said, do I want to cut out components, or maybe we'll just we'll just tear it? All right. All right, she says. All right, my one dog is making a bed on her bed. She's digging on it. That's the noise you're hearing. Now, I don't know about how this is gonna work. It's so little, but we'll try. Or narrow. No, oh, that's okay. problem is when you do it that way you can't tell if you're straight. <sighs> All right, she turned about 14 circles and now she's laying down. It's a little jaggedy, I don't mind. It's supposed to oh duh. It's supposed to look vintage anyway. Alright. Yeah, it's about the exact same spot. It's probably I wasn't holding it firmly there. going to say let's ink the edges. In this corner right here you can see the border. No you can't. Like I said, this I would put this on ivory cardstock, which I don't have. But you know, you could just glue that down. You know, you could write "Merry Christmas" or something. You don't have to get so super involved as Diane does. Eh, not thrilled. Um, I don't know if this would do anything. Goes this way. Yeah, it makes your eyes go buggy. I just had a little bit of it though. It's kind of nice. All right, this is a journaling card sheet, so what do I not care if I cut into? 
I know that, but just to get an idea. Yeah, that's okay. A bit, a bit of it. Let's straighten, straighten that up. side. No, too busy. Okay. And that. And then I had, I don't know if this would be too scary. It's actually not terrible. I think this was supposed to go with a different picture. And I had this. I don't know, that's not terrible. Although, generally speaking, I'm not a fan of dark. It's kind of nice. Dark Christmas cards. And that's just me. I mean, if that's what you like, great. But actually, I kind of like that. Um, I don't know. Christmas, dark. I, I don't like it. But like I said, that's just Diane. That's just you all over. From the Wizard of Oz. Okay. I don't know about this music down here. Maybe we want real music. Is that the problem? That stuff is too um, something blobby. Yeah, I know that's upside down. Yeah, I think I like that better. Yeah. Alright, do I have a bigger sheet out? Yeah, here's one. It's got writing on it. Just a minute. You know, you don't want it to say something anti-Christmas or something. That's fine. Let's talk about flowers. I suppose I could cut the writing off. Except no, then it's not going to be long enough or wide enough. Well, then you'll just have to do something else. Either get more music or think of something else clever to put down here. I could go over it. It could, but I don't like that. What if we knock back the white? Maybe we don't need anything. We can leave that plain. Let's, let's try that. Does it look like? You no, know, I know I could put a ribbon in there. Okay. All right, I'm gonna glue this guy down. And we're gluing. quiet. I think the neighbors went in and my dogs are taking their afternoon nap. Sounds good to me. I haven't done that in so long. I used to once in a while if I had the chance, but I guess I haven't had the chance in a long time. Yeah, that's cr crooked. 
I was trying to eliminate this perforatedness there, but I didn't realize the top was crooked. Now it's all gluey. Oh well, it's okay. I'll just add a little interest there. And you can always put ribbon over it or something. Okay. Yeah, actually, flipping it over just made me think. If you do hand make cards, you know, even if it's simple and whatever, sign it in some way. If you have a, you know, however you sign your art, or just at least sign your first name and the year. I think that's important. All right, that's fine. Right now, what are we gonna do? I had this stuff I pulled just because the colors were kind of duller, which kind of goes with the deer, I thought. That's not bad. That's. I don't think I like this green with this green, so you go hide. I'll cut out one of these snowflakes and see what I think. Yeah, this might be a nice card to send more to a guy, huh? I know, sometimes when I fussy cut, which I'm sort of not going exactly and everything, snowflakes, they look kind of dumb. I don't know. I suppose I could punch some with my punch. In like a, a light tan kind of color. Oh, actually, that's okay. What if I grab another one of these and then maybe punch some? They look dumb. It's hard. I don't know if you could see it, but it's kind of hard to decide. You know, like, well, do I want to go in here and in here? And then before you realize you're kind of not doing the same thing all the way around, and then it looks dumb. I guess that's my fault. Well, that's okay. All right. I was just. I was just going to say, but where am I going to get like tan tiny kind of paper? And there's some right here. I really want really tan tan. Like here's. I think that's too too tan. Well, we could have a variety. The Snowflake Society isn't going to come and get us. Well, the not so tan does show up better. a start. Maybe we want this one up here because it's a little denser. All right, well, just as a starting point, but do we want ribbon or washi or something down there before I glue that card image on? That's not the right box. I'll label my wax paper boxes. 
Well, we have, there actually are choices. That would be nice, but definitely more subtle. Well, maybe we want that. And then you can always add glitz or glitter or something. All right, I'm going to do that. And then that way it'll take off that scallop. Well, not scallop, but the perforated, not so even look there. And I think I'm going to kind of hit more glue than I normally do, just so it'll grab onto those perforation, jaggedy edge things. Does it have an up or down? I don't think so. Alright, let's get these out of the way. And here's another tip. If you, um, you know, this is bigger than that, you know, I got to trim it down. But if you have, you know, like a lot of extra and you kind of forget about that, it's easy to get your image off. So either be, you know, aware of that or wait till you can trim before you put your main image on. There's something a little odd about making Christmas cards when the oh shoot I went a little crooked when the uh, locusts are buzzing. Yeah, I'm gonna pause here for a minute. I some of my family just came home. And they'll probably come in the back door, which is kind of near where I am. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm gonna have to start calling my channel the interruption channel. I think. But anyway, while I was out, it kind of dawned on me, this deer looks like he's looking at some, something. So I thought, well, I know, you know, Christmas is star. So I punched a gold star, but yeah, that's, that's real impressive. You can't even see it. So I thought, well, what about, you know, some sort of sentiment? So this is just out of my stash. It's off an old greeting card, Christmas card. But I'm going to ink up the edges. Actually, that's crooked. It's hard for me anyway. When you have cursive text, to cut it straight, it's better. Oh, and by the way, I you know as I was before I pause there I trim this top edge and I just on the you know the last quarter inch I kind of cut into it and it you know I don't know if the average person would have noticed it but anyway I took the entire card I mean I opened the entire card and I trimmed off about an eighth of an inch so it's it's nice and straight again well do we want it straight yeah actually I, I like that Looks a little more uh, traditional. And this one I think could use some sewing around too, but uh, the same deal. I'll have to wait till the glue is dry. And two, do I want, I, as you watched the uh, Halloween cards episode, I often uh, decorate the envelopes. I don't know. I'll bother to show that. Oh, good one. <laughs> All right, be aware what side you're gluing on. There might be something on the other side that it's not appropriate. I'm sorry, I'll just punch another one. I 
All right, what do you have on your reverse? Nothing, okay. ink the edges of the snowflakes. My, because they kind of blend in, but I mean, yeah, that's a little bit. I'll say it is snow, and oh, snow, that's a four-letter word. It can be very pretty. I, I have some very lovely snow pictures I've taken in my life, but, but, it's not so pretty when you gotta shovel it and drive in it and stuff like that. Yeah, if I keep up with these videos, I'll be, one of these days, be saying stuff like, well, we got snow overnight. And, all right, as long as I gotta punch another one, I'm gonna get rid of that one that was more tan. thought maybe of getting the white gel pen and dotting in some small flakes. That might be something to think about. And yes, this glue will dry clear. Don't think, oh, she's got all this glue blob stuff going on. It'll dry clear. You'll never see it. trim everything on this one. Is that a concern? Well, let's add some dotty gel pen snowflakes. Yeah, I've got a white, just a pen pen and then this pen and I often grab the wrong one. course, be sure you don't gel pen where there's glue. Your gel pen will go, ugh. It really will. You'll hear it do that. <laughs> right, Diane? Alright. Is that adequate? Okay, well, I think we'll ink edges, so let me see if this stuff could get trimmed off, yeah. Let's see if she cannot cut into the card. Oh, and let's close up our ink. Okay, success. We didn't cut into the card. Yeah, she's coming along. Well, let's open the ink. Yeah, this definitely has a more masculine type feel. Well, it could be you know, kind of a I don't know, what would you call it? You know, rusticy. I don't want to say country, but woodsy, obvious feel. Well, all right. Yeah, I think I could use a little bling or a little something. 
Well, are we back to sequins? I don't think, you know, I had talked about running some maybe can trim down here. I don't think I want to do that. I think that's fine. Probably could be left alone if you weren't me. Actually, there's not a lot of gold in this bag. Some. Gold, yeah. Getting dirty fingers here. You have to excuse that. Do we want a little red because of the red text? It does show up better than the gold. Do we even want it at all? Or just put it up by the, the sentiment. Yeah, actually I think that's a good idea. But where really do we want them? That's okay. Okay, I think that's fine. And as far as interiors go, I'm not going to show that. I um, sometimes I just leave them blank, and so I can write a note more, you know, a letter. Or sometimes I just handwrite, you know, happy holidays or whatever. And then sometimes I print it off on my computer. I don't know what I'll do with these, and I don't know that there's much interest there, so I don't think I'm going to bother with that show it. Good stamp too, rubber stamp letters. I think I'm gonna leave this one alone. I you know, normally I might do something glittery, trimmy, not glitter, I don't like glitter, but I mean sparkly trim or something, but I think I just like this one the way it is. Like so it looks sort of prim, rustic. Alright, you dry a little bit. Let's pull that blue angel girl out here again and trim off her decor there. Of course I did say I could sew on that deer, didn't I? Think about that. Alright, do we want your ribbon trim shorter? Yeah. It's going to be a little tricky since it's glued down. Let's make life harder for you, Diane. Okay. Alright, that's better though. Alright, is she done? I don't hear anybody saying anything. Well, this area is bothering me. <laughs> oh, Diane. But it's kind of, I don't know, maybe I should just leave it alone. But it's, it's a big nothingness right there. What about that lace piece? Yeah, what about that lace piece? No, I don't like it. Um, well, you know what, crew? Where'd that deer card go? Where'd I put it to dry? I lost it. Yeah, I think I'll sew white around the edge, in which case I gotta wait for this stuff to dry. So I'll pause yet again and do that and think about this and then I'll come back and wrap it up. Okay, I'm back, I finished. So let's recap here. Here's the girl with her Mary Bingo card. Here's the angel and the lamb. What I wound up doing, remember I said this area was kind of bugging me because it was so plain. 
it's washi tape and I put a little bit up there it's actually supposed to be Valentine because of the hearts but I thought that looked really cute so that's that and here's that first one it's kind of kind of simple kind of elegant I think and then here is the deer. I did a uh, stitch white around, which you might not even really be able to see. But it, in person, it does just give it a nice finished edge there. So, there we go. That's our craft for today. And yeah, I actually got it done in one day. I didn't have to come back tomorrow. Okay, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for viewing, and have a nice day out there.